Okay, this video is on drawn angles. So we're going to draw three different angles in today's video. We're going to look at uh, drawing an acute angle, drawing an obtuse angle, and a reflex angle. So let's start off by drawing this acute angle of 35 degrees. So the two things you're going to need are, you're going to need uh, three things actually, a pencil, a ruler, and, well, a straight edge, uh, and a protractor. So, the first thing is, let's draw a line. So we're going to need a line to, to draw your angle from. So let's draw a line. In an exam question, they may draw a line for you. Um, it might be that they tell you to draw a certain length of line. I've just drawn any line there. Now, to draw an angle, um, you're going to have to decide where you're going to want it. Do you want to put the angle on this side of the line or on this side of the line? Uh, so I'm going to actually put it on the left-hand side. And we're going to draw a 35-degree angle. So make sure that the cross of the protractor here goes on the end of the line. And the line where the zero is goes along the line you've drawn. So it's going to look something like that. Okay, and it really accurately. As you can see, the cross here is on the end of the line, and the zero is along the line we've drawn. Now we want to do the 35 degree angle, so let's go to look at 35. Now notice the zero that we've put along the line is on the inside of the protractor, so we're going to go 35 degrees around here. So 10, 20, 30, 5. So whenever we do that, we'll go to 10, 20, 35, and you'll put your mark like so. Okay, so now what you do is you get your ruler and you connect the dot you've drawn to the end of the line. And as you can see we've now drawn a 35 degree angle. Okay, now we're going to draw an obtuse angle, so here's an angle of 105 degrees. So, first thing again is draw a line. And then we're going to draw the 105 degree angle. Again, we've got to decide what side of the line we want to do it on. We could do it on the left hand side or on the right hand side. This time I'm just going to do it on the right hand side. So, again, get your cross of your protractor and put it on the end of the line here. And make sure the zero is on the line that you've drawn. Okay, so zero is on the line we've drawn, and the cross is on the end of the line. So, now we're going to go to 105. Now, and notice here that the zero now is on the outside of the circle. So, you're going to go outside of the protractor. So, we're going to go all the way around to 105 degrees. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Notice you're going past the right angle, 100 and 105 degrees. So, it's there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to join at the end of the line to that point. And there we've drawn a 105 degree angle. To label it, you just draw your arc and you just write 105 degrees. And actually, let's do the same for the 35 degree angle we drew earlier. So you just draw your arc inside and you do your 35 degree angle. Okay, we're now going to draw a 215 degree angle. This is a reflex angle. So uh, there's two ways to do this. One is you could draw your line you're going to start with. Uh, work out 180 degrees or use your protractor and mark 180 degrees and then measure another 35 degrees and then that would be your 215. You draw the line for uh, 35 degrees and then you mark the reflex angle on the outside. Personally, I prefer to draw, uh, because obviously the angles are a full circle out of the 360, I personally would now take this 215 away from 360. And let's take them away. So if we take them away, you'd get... 145 degrees. So what instead I'm gonna instead of drawing the 215 degree angle, what I'm gonna do is draw the obtuse angle. So draw the 145 degree angle. So open parenthesis in a very good position. So um, zero around the outside. Let's make sure it's lined up. Zero all the way around 145. Put my mark here. Get my ruler. And join that up. So what I've done is I've just drawn the obtuse angle of 135 degrees, 145 degrees here. That means that the outside angle here must be 215 degrees. So personally, whenever I'm drawing a reflex angle, I just draw the obtuse angle 
or the acute angle, the upper angle, and then mark the upper, the outside bit. So here what I've done is I've drawn the 215 degrees uh, angle here. Okay, the other way to draw the 215 degrees angle is to start off by drawing the first line and then to carry that on and make a straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dot where the centre of the angle is and just carry on the line. Oh, let's keep the ruler straight. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the page upside down and I'm going to measure a 35 degree angle. So we've done the 180 and now we're going to do another 35 degrees. And then I join that point with this centre. And there you have got a 215 degree angle. So make a straight line, that's 180, and draw another 35.